Hello everyone, Double Down Reviews here. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. Today we're taking a look at Asmus Collectibles 1 6 scale Gimli. The last of the fellowship. The last of the nine has arrived. It's completed, finally. Uh, what was it, like a three years? Three years in the making for this guy? Something like that, yeah. Good God. They did it though. They did a good job. They did. Uh, they decided that they are going to go with the rooted hair, which I'm happy about. And it actually turned out well. Uh, let's take a look at the box. You got a nice promo shot of John Rice Davies with his disgusting beard. Uh, he's got his huge double axe. And then, uh, I believe these guys just have the typical cradles in here. Um, cool little thing that they did with this was all of his axes are die cast metal. Uh, and he came with a lot of them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five axes. That's cool. <clears throat> That's really cool. Uh, his helmet, um, there's a lot of detail on it. There's a lot of detail on there, uh, as well as his uh, elven cape and all that junk. Uh, so let's get down to it and let's take a look at uh, Gimli, Son of Glowing. What do you got for pros and cons? Um, I guess cons. The one thing that sticks out to me is I'm afraid that his chainmail, which I think is like a soft plastic, um, I'm afraid that might crack over time if you have it posed a huh. certain way. Yeah. Um, is that all throughout his, is this all the same material? This, yeah, but I'm not really worried about this, because there's not really a bending point. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you, elbow, I guess. if you were to pose him moving forward, it's not gonna, god, his little tiny legs. <laughs> if you were to pose him forward, it's not gonna make much of a difference, but here, where his joints are, I think that could crack over time, which has me a little worried. Um, at first, I'll be honest, I was really worried about his beard, when they said they were going the rooted. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, there's a lot of intricacies in his beard. I mean, he's got his mustache, which goes into braids, which goes into his beard, and then comes out the bottom of the beard. And they actually pulled it off. <laughs> there's actually his braids that go through his beard and all that stuff. It looks really awesome. And yeah. the entire head, there's no sculpted hair. They did a really good job. So what does uh, it look like with the helmet off? I'll show you. Uh... Uh, articulation with his armor and cape and being shorter. Articulation's all there. Um, I show you. These are heavy. They're metal. Should have um, one more, right? You said there's five. There's one more in his box. Oh, okay. Just a smaller one uh, that goes into one of these. Just want to make sure you weren't lying <laughs> for the people at home. <laughs> Uh, posability, it's all here. Um, it, it's not too restrictive. Like I said, the only thing that you might have to worry about would be the joints and his elbows, um, just because they have that thicker chainmail stuff. Um, he's got sculpted gauntlets, as well as like a softer sculpt here for his armor. Uh, it's kind of like a rubbery, so it can move mm -hmm. with them. Uh, they actually did all actual like leather work for his little bandolier crosses. And then they do have die cast rings, like in the movie, for him to put his axe in. Uh, the helmet is not metal, but they did a really good job painting it. It's a hard plastic. Yeah. It's pretty much that axe could go right through it. <laughs> he just, he came with the alternate hands or anything? Don't Gimli. Yeah, he came with a couple different hands. Uh, I think he only came with four. He has two hands like this for holding his axes, and then he has relaxed palms also. So you probably have him like resting his hands on... The, did he come with a pipe? The head of an axe. He did not come with a pipe. Alright. Which is too bad. But maybe you just use uh, Aragorn's or Gandalf's extra Gandalf, pipe. well, who is it? Gandalf, Aragorn, Mary comes with a pipe. The Hobbits definitely came with one. And I think Pippin came with a pipe also. We got plenty of pipes to go around. Yeah, plenty of pipes floating around in Middle Earth. Yeah. Uh, dwarfs head off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you strap it under his beard? Yeah. What are you mental? Yeah. I need to get myself one of them. Ah! Whew. Whew. So there you have it. Uh, there's his helmet. The helm of glowing. Glowing, 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 glowing. A lot like groin. No, I think it's just glowing. So. There you go, there's Gimli. That's pretty awesome. They could have just like sculpted the helmet on and just made it non-removable. I saw a picture where someone took the rings out. I don't know how he's gonna get them back in, but he took the rings out 
and he like fluffed his hair up like how it is in the movies when he takes it off and it was just like this huge like long hair it looked really awesome um i'm also really happy with the scale i was worried that they were gonna have a hard time because i mean they had to make an entire new body for this figure speaking of scale stay close you hobbits well frodo hobbit size comparison and a human comparison is he standing up straight no ah. there you go so yeah, I mean, I haven't I haven't measured him out. My guess is eight and a half. Good thing we got tall. one of these. Eight inches tall. Well, like nine. And nine a half. and a half. Oh, nine and a half compared to Aragorn. Who's a straight twelve? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <coughs> Frodo's about eight. Huh. Um, but yeah, really happy with this guy. Uh, like I said, took forever to get him, but it was worth it. And now my entire fellowship is completed. Got to come up with an awesome diorama for those guys. I don't know where, how, when. If you got any ideas, let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, the amount of detail, the work that went into it, even the embroidery like on the inside of his boots here, they all have the little like dwarven looking runes all along the side of them mm -hmm. here. It's and pretty the, cool. the boots are two pieces, so yep. you can get an ankle movement in there. Yep, boot cut, so you can have them all posed down, ready for action. Uh, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't try to take his hair out of the rings. No. That's just scary business to me. Um, it, if I read online, someone did talk about how his hair can get a little out of place when you have the helmet on and off. What he said to do is hold the back of the ponytail and slide this ring up. Do it up here so they can see. i got to be able to support him and just kind of pull it like that to tighten it a little bit. Uh, and they so said, you pull the hair down while you push the rings up. Yep, and they said that that will... Tighten the slack on the, the hair puffing out. Huh. They thought of everything. <clears throat> yep. Asthma's geniuses. They're pretty good. Uh, yeah, and I think they just announced Thorin Oakenshield from the Hobbit trilogy, and they also teased Azog the Defiler. Yep. He was uh, in the picture. I saw that. So if, if that is the case, Azog will be, what, the third villain that they've made? Fourth. Did they make a Sauron yet? They haven't made a Sauron. Sauron. You do Ozog before Sauron? That's what I'm saying. Pretty much just Ixnay the Hobbit trilogy unless you're talking about like the two and a half hour cut. Let's do Lord of the Rings first, then you can go to the Hobbit stuff. There are some people that are they're crazy about it. I don't care. I hope you enjoy it, whoever you are. <coughs> crazy <coughs> Max. So uh, his let's... cape come off? Yeah, we just gotta pop his noggin off like how the rest of the fellowship. Hold that please. There you go. Just like that. Does he have his brooch? Yep. He's got the brooch. This hood's got a this wire in it. This little noggin worries me. Not in a bad way. I'm just always worried that I'm going to like pop something where it shouldn't pop. Uh, Which would be bad. Very bad. He's got his little knapsack on the back. He's yep. got a little backpack. He's got his little his backpack. He's got his sleeping bags. He's got his buckles. Uh, I believe this is like his... Rations, food type stuff. Uh, maybe that's where he keeps Lady, Lady Gladriel's hair. Anybody from the... Gladriel gives him three strands of hair. Um, yeah, all around though, this figure blew my expectations. Um, I can definitely say that Asmus stepped up to the plate again. I think we said that last time we watched, um, or we reviewed uh, Boromir. But uh, everything they're pushing out now, it, it's quality products. I'll tell you that right now. Um, one concern I had was this right here is a little uh, holster. It's supposed to be for his one of his like side axes or throwing axes. It seems really tight. Um, I haven't brought myself to, yeah, to like forcing it yet. Almost like break it open. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I don't want to do it. Um, he does have plenty of other rings to house his other axes. I mean, he's got another slot in the top. Does this here. one work fine? Yeah, this one works. Okay. He's got another slot in the top right here, and then another ring here. So, I mean, even if you don't put the two in this side, he's still walking around with three axes on him, and then whatever and you then want him to be carrying. Holding, yeah. Uh, plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. 
There's lots of detail in these two. Cool carvings into the handles, like a leather yep. wrap look. Yeah, Plus they did all the all blades, the... diecast blades. Yeah, they were showing off photos of these before the figure released and showing the concept, the, the concept art from the movies and how they actually like 3D map them to make the handles and all that stuff, and then they die cast to look awesome. All that yeah. they turned out really good. And they're they're heavy duty. They're not lightweight. Probably throw this at somebody and take them out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this guy looks. I think he looks great. He's one of my favorite characters from the books and the movies. Uh, I'm happy with him. I wouldn't yeah. change anything about him. Uh, how much was he? Um, I think he was like one. What was he one ninety? One ninety nine? It's not bad. No, it's not bad. Asmus, uh, they're getting good. Bang well, for their buck. Yeah. Plus, with the amount of work that they had to do, like I said, you know, they had to make a brand new body for him because the hobbits oh. are too small. Now they could probably use this body for all the dwarves in the Hobbit series. So it was, oh. a, it was an investment. He was. Now they can make. They just make a new head sculpt and pop it on the same. Fourteen body. different dwarves. Yeah. Man, I really hope they don't make all those guys. Lucky number, indeed. Um, so, yeah. If you guys are collecting uh, any Lord of the Rings, any Asmus figures, or if you're excited about some of the stuff that they showed off at Toy Fair, or SDCC, or anything like that, uh, what the heck are you excited about? I don't know. Did we go an entire Gimli review without saying, And my axe! <laughs>